Hello guys, my nice graphics here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you a very simple but important tip. I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of any clothes, any fabric, any t-shirt, any face marks, any cap. Changing the color actually using Photoshop CC21. And I'm going to actually be doing this tutorial in two steps. First, I'm going to be using hue saturation. And I'm going to be using graded map. Both of them are found in the adjustment layer. So first of all, I'm going to place my image. I downloaded this image from Unsplash. I'll try my best to leave the image link or the image on the description below. Okay, so now that I have my image. Now that I have my image, I'll use the quick selection two but first of all let me zoom in then i select my quick selection two to actually make the selection of this black shirt this will be important when using the adjustment layer so i don't have it all over the image i'll just have it at the selected area which i want which is the shirt okay so i'm gonna select this okay so now that i've made the selection of the shirt let me actually zoom this out so now that i've made the selection of the shirt i'm going to go to my layer panel and i'm going to hit ctrl j because i'm actually using a window so what i've done is that i've actually created a new layer from this selection that i've made so that means that i can be able to work on this shirt without having anything to do with the image i can apply an effect and it will actually happen to the shirt or it will actually be effective on the shirt and not on the main image so i'll just have to do some adjustments with my pen too to remove the small areas that actually the quick selection didn't actually work on so i have to remove that manually okay okay so make selection and then i'll delete this okay so let me zoom out so actually like i said for this first step i'm going to be using who has saturation so i'll go to my adjustment layer and I'll make sure that my colorize is checked. Okay. Then as you can see, this is what I was mentioning earlier. So you can see that the effect is all over the image, but I have a way to solve that. I'll create a clipping max. So this effect will only show on the areas of the shirt, which I've actually created a new layer for. So I'm going to increase this hue and I'm going to use the red color then i'm going to shift my saturation a little bit so that um color will come out more on the shirt then i'm going to actually work on my brightness because this image is looking dark okay ah this is actually too bright so i'm going to reduce this a bit so you can actually change the colors by moving this hue slider you can change it to blue you can change it to green any color you actually want okay so that's all for the first step that's all for hue and saturation for the second step i'm going to be using the gradient map that both of them are found in the adjustment layer okay oh oh that's a mistake so i'm gonna actually say it state the mistake that i made and i'm actually going to show you how you are going to resolve this so whenever you're actually working with gradient map you have to make sure that your foreground color is set to black and your background color is set to white so i'm going to try this again and you're going to see that it's actually going to come out nice than before 
okay so now that we have that out of the way so i'll go to my graded maps and actually i'll click on this so this um point right here is called the stop so what i'm going to do is that i'm actually going to come to the middle of these two stops and i'll add a new stop by clicking on it so as you can see this image is now black because of the color at the stop is actually black so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and i'm going to make sure that um i selected the the adjustment layer not the layer mask so once i click on this i'll change the color to red right now okay okay as you can see this is looking nice already we've actually been able to achieve changing this image so once i move this slider towards the white area you notice that the image becomes darker why once i move it towards the dark area the image becomes brighter so that's just how you do it guys using gradient map okay like for me i prefer actually using the gradient map because i feel it's easy i feel it's much better than actually using the hair saturation i don't know that's what i use most times that's what I use most times on my project because I actually feel that um, it's more flexible. As you can see, I'm actually changing the colors by just moving the slider. So I think it's more, it's more flexible. But that's for me. You can actually use, out of the two steps, you can actually use the one that works best for you. So guys, here you have it. Thank you for sticking to the end of this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and also share this video. Share it with your friends. Thank you guys. See you in my next video. Mess Graphics out.